show you the sixth week of the garden. Uh, this week we have a lot of growth with our cucumbers and squash plants. Um, watermelon are kind of coming along, so I'm going to take you through quick. How the sun went down, we've had a really hot week. So, um, yeah, so come along, we'll show you. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to say if you get a chance, um, go back to week number six of last year of my garden and then watch this video or vice versa watch this one and then go back to week number six of last year it is unbelievable the difference i'm getting this year in the garden um for example my sunflowers as you'll see in the video are as tall as me if not taller where last year they were only up to my knee so it's pretty unbelievable um not too much is different we've had actually less rain we have had probably warmer days um, but basically the only difference is my weeding. Um, I did no mulch and I've been weeding everything very diligently, but I also did that last year back in that bed. So I'm not really sure, but yeah, if you get a chance, check that out. Uh, but so this, this is the July 3rd morning, the morning of July 3rd, excuse me, it's early. And um, the video of last year was also on July 3rd. So it's really a good comparison um, but the reason I did the garden tour what you're gonna see today in the afternoon I did it yesterday evening um, is because it's been just so bright and sunny and so hot in the mornings that I've been waiting until the evenings and I kind of rushed through it because the mosquitoes were so bad but so you have to excuse that but I hope you guys enjoy week number six and I'll see you next week for week seven Okay, so this week my zinnias are starting to flower. These are the ones that are the giant ones, supposed to get up to five feet tall. But they're one of my favorite flowers. Oh, there's bugs in there. Interesting. Well, anyway, so um, everything looks a little wilty right now. We've had five days of 88 and higher for temps. So you have to excuse what everything looks like. It looks better in the morning but it's too hot in the morning, or it has been. Here's the great white one. I think he's gonna turn white here. Had a couple other ones on there. So this Amish paste is really starting to grow. A couple fruits on there. Well last year I had one that was supposed to be Amish paste. It did not look like this. And my serrano pepper is not a serrano. It looks more like a bell pepper maybe. So I got that from the greenhouse. So who knows what came out of the, um, the pack. So this is the one that got topped. I've been trying to prune it up a little bit, see what we can do, but. Ooh, mosquitoes, guys. They're bad. Cherries, the black cherries. We're getting quite a few on here. The uh, cannas are really coming. Cabbages look really good. Got a really nice, um, Hungarian hot yellow pepper growing. This is the one that the seed pack says Serrano. But look at the pepper that's on here. That is not a Serrano. Looks more like an Anaheim maybe. Nothing for the cayenne. Oh no, there's a little one here. I did put cages on them this week because my dog kept running them over. There's a nice cayenne too. Uh, here's some jalapenos. We got a nice one here. A couple on that one. These are the anchos. Nothing on these, either one of these yet. Maybe just really little ones. Same with these ones. Okay, the watermelon. It's really starting to grow. I've been working on getting it up the trellis. So I got a little bit more work to do there. 
the squash has been difficult for me to train up. So I've been, I'm really trying. I'm gonna have to get some Velcro and whatnot out here. I think to hold it, I got one little piece there. Um, it's just so thick, it's hard to train going up. Sunflowers. I did pick one, my first cucumber tonight. Um, off of this end one here. So they're really starting to grow. You can barely tell what came from the greenhouse, which was this one. And those were all started from seed. My uh, volunteer tomato plant, I kind of trimmed him up a little bit. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking it's a cherry. Um, but I'm going to leave it there for now. And the, the pickling cucumbers, Chicago picklers. And yeah, you, see, you can see the squash is just going crazy through here. So I'm going to try to keep it a path. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work yet. But. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure this is not a pumpkin now. This is a butternut squash, I believe. So we will see. So yeah, there is this one, this bed. Really nice progress this week with it. Good growing. So. Quite a bit of tomatoes coming on a lot of these. They got a little twisted up in there. So I've been really working on straightening things out a little bit. But they're, they're looking pretty good. Like I said, everything was a little bit droopy. Only because of how hot it's been, I believe. Um, this is a San Marzano. We got some on there. And I got the big ones in the back. <laughs> um, triple crop. It's looking really nice. I don't believe we have any tomatoes on it yet. Oh, I lied. There's one little guy right there. Um, oh, here's. This is also possibly a tr um, triple crop, but the leaves don't look. They're different than this one. But here's a nice little tomato. There's a couple more. It's whatever it is. They're pretty big tomatoes. They look like they're going to be. Cherokee purple. Here's one. They're starting to, to grow some. And here's another Cherokee purple. Little tomatoes coming. <laughs> Ooh! These bugs. Uh, my zucchini, this one's really taken off. I have a couple nice little zucchinis coming in here. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it. There's one. There's a couple more down there. But unfortunately, the squash bugs are already out. I've been picking them as soon as I can. But I don't know. Hopefully, we can keep control of them. Cauliflower are finally starting to grow. My peppers are doing okay. Like I said, I started caging some of them. Uh, the yellow straight neck. Coming along, nothing on it yet. And the cabbages from seed. And quite a bit of peppers. So, cilantro is bolted and flowered. I'm gonna leave it there. And now let's go on to the next one. The back bed with the corn, sunflowers, onions, parsnips, carrots. Uh, corn's looking really good, and I'm keep able. I've been able to keep it weeded. This corn's looking pretty good, and it's also oh, it's my oh, thigh high. So these are as tall as I am. The sunflowers. Some of them are a little bit taller. I'm five three and a half ish, five four, so they're taller than me. Onions. 
they're doing okay. This front part of the bed isn't doing the greatest, um, but we'll still have, maybe I'll pull them first and use them. The parsnips are doing good. Carrots, uh, few and far between, but they're there. Everything looks really nice though. Um, weed wise, I've been able to control everything except for this big old comfrey plant. <laughs> it's a bush. So I gotta mow a little bit around that yet, but. So, there is week number six. I can't believe how tall the sunflowers are so far this year. But looking good. Nice evening picture I'll get here, sunset picture. So we'll see you guys on uh, week seven. And I'm excited. I'm sure we're gonna have some harvest this next coming up week of oh, cucumbers, maybe a zucchini or two. Uh, maybe I'll use an onion. But so signing off. We'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.